Greetings fellow 50p collectors, Coins Notcher here and tonight we're having an update on the Isle of Man 50p collection. So one of my favourite collections of coins, it spans three trays. This is tray number one, tray number two. Each of these trays holds 35 coins. So when these trays are complete there will be 70 coins. There's also another tray that holds 28 of the etch inscribed coins from 1979 got about 19 of those at the minute so nine of them to go and then there's a couple of extra ones i have that i can't fit in the tray because there's no spaces left so these coins start away up in the top left hand corner in 1971 there's a viking ship coin issued for every year right up until the very end of the collection which is 1987 down here in the bottom corner. What makes this a fantastic collection to go after is the mixture of different coins in it. So we have circulating coins. We also have circulating coins that haven't been circulated. Proof metal, proof base metal versions of the coins. Bunk coins that never went into circulation as such. There's an error coin there. And then you'll see some of these nicer silver looking 50p's that are dotted throughout the collection as well. There is a silver 50p issued for each year as well, but really only available as part of the set. So the coins, the first tray is finished there, you'll see it, it's full. But the second tray is the one that I am slowly trying to com complete. Uh, some of the coins up here, like this one, which is a 1980 DD Diamark proof coin. It's basically the same as this coin here, except there's a variation on the Diamark. That coin I haven't been able to come across yet, no matter how many different sets I look at. There's a 1981 silver coin to go. On the next row we have the 1982 Bunk Baby Crib coin with a little privy mark here on it. There's a proof version of that coin and there's a silver proof version of that coin as well. And then one of the trickiest coins to find in the collection which surprised me is this 1983 coin with the AA die mark. This is a 1983 coin with an AA die mark. If we just have a little zoom in on this, you can just see the AA die mark above, well, between the five and the zero. The die mark number two is a slight variation on that die mark, but I can't find one and I've been looking for several years now for it. Then we've got a couple more. On the next shelf we're missing the 1983 silver coin. And that finishes off that row. And then on the next row we're missing the 1984 diamond proof coin with the AA die mark. We have the 1984 diamond proof coin without the die mark and then we have the 1984 silver coin with no die mark. This coin was gifted to me by a fellow YouTuber called Coins of 1984. So where I collect any 50p from any year in as many different variations as possible. Coins of 1984, as his title suggests, collects coins only from that year. So he was very kind and knew I needed this for the collection and he sent it to me. And what a fantastic, beautiful looking coin it is as well. So thank you once again to Coins of 1984. Every time I look at that coin it brings a little grin to my face. Beautiful coin. And then we've got the silver one to go. That will be that row finished. And then the final row, we just have the one space here. And this space is the subject of the video tonight. So <clears throat> what we have in front of us here is a really nice, luxurious black velvet year set with a nice metal insert going around it. And if we open this up, <clears throat> we have the Pop Joy logo, which is actually inset into the lid. Really nice. And then we have here a tray of the coins. So we have a 20p, the 50p, the 10p, the 5p, the 2p, the 1p, the hipney, 
and then we have the little tablet to uh, that Pop Joy puts in this one commemorates the year of sport in 1985 all silver proof coins and really really nice designs most of them have got the animals of man on them so various different animals and I think this one here has the flowers on it as does this one down here this one's fish ram bird bird so if we pop that out for a second normally with a silver proof set you would have the seven coins in it like this one does but this is what I would refer to as a long set so this one also has in a separate little holder the one pound coin with a nice crest design on it a couple of different animals sitting inside there and this one pound coin has a nice bit of toning on it looks quite nice actually when you get the light shining on it you've got the the various colors going through it really nice and then beside the one pound coin to finish this set off we have the five pound coin so you can see there we have a knight on horseback he's got his broadsword the horse has a cloak over it with several of the Isle of Man Triskelions on it and all of these coins have this little privy mark on them which is the year of sport privy mark and this coin has a little bit of toning on it as well but I don't think that detracts from the coins at all whereas with uh, some of the Royal Mint coins when they get dirty or sorry when they get toned they look dirty but with these coins the toning is is pretty nice and uh, the obverse of these coins or sorry the reverse of these coins all look really really good as well so rather than do it on camera I've already taken the 50p out of this set we'll just pop the set over to the side because we won't look at that again but here we have the 50p in front of us so let's just have a little look at this coin here so this is a silver proof 1985 coin there's the little year of sport privy mark at the top of it you can see that inside the shield it has more of a frosted finish and the outside of the shield is the the regular mirror finish that we're used to being a silver proof coin in this instance there's no die mark on this coin but it's a stunning looking coin it's really really nice and bearing in mind that this is 37 years old it's in really nice condition as well so very very happy with this set had my eye on one of these for a while and it finally came up at an acceptable price shall we say it was by no means cheap but worth every penny to get this coin into the collection and being the completionist that i am it was one that i had to get so that is the 1985 viking ship silver proof coin with no die mark and we'll pop that down into the collection very fittingly just underneath the 1984 proof coin with no die mark and you can just see the sort of difference in color between the base metal proof and the silver proof coin so that is a rare coin that we've added in to the isle of man viking ship 50p collection if you're into the viking ship collection from the isle of man have a look at my other videos because i also collect all the Christmas Isle of Man 50p's the TT uh, motorbike series of 50p's uh, there's also the regular Isle of Man Chris or Isle of Man 50p's as well and there's the Milner's Tower series of coins from the Isle of Man too so there's a absolute massive amount of 50p's to collect from the Isle of Man I think the the UK 50p collection pales in comparison to the to the Isle of Man 50p collection but that's it for this video update tonight it's certainly a good night where we get to add in one of the nicest looking coins and possibly one of the rarest coins in the collection as well so that's it for now peace and love coin snatcher out